Hey everybody, it's Brett here with The Tuning School and on this Tech Tuesday, I'm gonna be showing you how to remove a PCM from a 2015 Dodge Charger. So the reason we're removing the module out of this car today is because all 2015 and newer Dodge vehicles have to have their PCMs physically modified in order for you to tune them. So you actually have to remove them from the vehicle, send them to HP Tuner so they can physically modify the boards inside the computer, and then they'll send it back to you. It has to do with the security that's built into these computers, so it's just a step that you're gonna have to take when tuning these newer Dodges. So what we're looking at actually working today is right here. The computer's actually right here. It's underneath this piece of plastic behind this bar here. So I'm gonna show you guys what you actually need to take apart to get to it. Now to start things off, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is unhook the battery. Obviously, whenever you're working on your car, particularly on electronic components, you're gonna to wanna to unhook the battery first so you don't either harm the computer or harm yourself. So the first step is we're gonna to have to remove some plastic clips that are holding this plastic piece. Uh, to the strut bar and to the fender right here. Now I've got this little clip removal tool, but any screwdriver will work just fine. What we're gonna look to do is there's four of them. There's one right next to the fender near where the hood connects. And then there's one, two, and three right here. We're gonna remove all those so we can lift this plastic piece. Now at this point, I've got the plastic clips removed so I can actually lift up on this piece here and I can reach my hand down inside of here and this is where the computer is located. Now you can get the computer out at this point. There's one bolt for a bracket that's holding um, the computer in. If we remove that and remove the mounting bolts for the computer, we can finagle it and undo the plugs on the computer and get it out of the car. I find that it's pretty hard to do it that way though. I've done it before, but it's kind of a challenge and even a challenge considering I have pretty small hands. So what I like to do is take an additional step and I actually remove this crossbar right here, like the strut tower brace, I guess is what it would be, um, because it actually gives you a lot more room to work with and you're not cutting your arm up trying to get it in there and get the plugs off like that. So keep in mind at this point, because you removed the four plastic clips, you can get to the computer and you can attempt to remove it, but I'm gonna show you an additional step of removing this crossbar to just make your life easier. So to remove this strut tower bar, what we're gonna do is pull the remainder of the clips uh, in the plastic piece here that are connected to the bar. So there's one, two, three, and four that are still left in the bar. We'll pull those first and then we'll work on the mounting bolts. So now that we've got the plastic clips out of the bar here, we've got two mounting bolts on either side located near the fenders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the two on this side and then the two on that side. They're 13 millimeter bolts and all you have to do is lift up on the plastic and you can get a socket wrench in there. So for the driver's side of the vehicle, I'm actually gonna use an open end wrench to get those bolts out because it's a little bit tighter and I don't have enough room when I lift up on the plastic piece to get my full socket wrench in there. So I'm gonna get them loose with this and then I'll probably take them out with my fingers. So now we've got the four mounting bolts out for the crossbar here. The last thing that we need to do is we need to pop these two plastic clips. There's one right here holding a wiring harness piece and there's one over there holding wiring harness itself. It's gotta pop these plastic clips out of the bar itself. Then we can pull the bar away. Keep in mind that on the other side over here where that wiring harness connects, there's actually like a mounting bushing. Um, it's not screwed in or anything like that. You just kinda have to finagle it off of the rubber bushing. So we're gonna pop these and then take the bar out. So now with that bar out of the way, you guys can see we have all of this room to work with the computer. It just makes life a whole lot easier. I like doing it this way. It's only a couple extra minutes of time. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the mounting bracket um, off of the computer itself. There's gonna be two 10 millimeter bolts to get that done. Um, and you see, I can just kind of pull it up and out of the way so I have easy access to it. So 
So now we're on the final step to remove the PCM from this vehicle. We're just gonna pull it out here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these clips off. So there's a red lever that you have to press the release tab for and then pull the red lever up. Once it's there, you can just finagle the plug off the computer. There's one on the top and then there's one on the bottom. And you can see not having that bar there has given me the ability to pull this computer essentially all the way out of the car, which makes life a whole lot easier. So there you have it guys. That is the computer from our 2015 Dodge Charger. At this point, we can actually talk about how to send it into HP Tuners. So when you send this thing into HP Tuners, it's gonna cost you $249 to get it unlocked. Now, you can send them a totally separate computer if you'd like. Essentially what I mean by that is you can take a computer, let's say you buy from the Dodge dealership, you buy a 2015 Charger computer and you send them that one. But if you want to find out more information on that, please check out the link in the description because it has specific instructions on a few different things you need to do. Also, those same instructions are gonna have information on how to fill out an order form, where to ship the computer itself, and so on. So now that you guys have understood this, you can send this to HP Tuners, get it back, and you can start tuning your vehicle yourself. Now, everything I've been showing you today has been on our test vehicle for our upcoming Dodge Learn at Home course. Now, this course is gonna be released sometime in the first quarter of 2018. If you're interested in getting your hands on this course, then contact our sales department. It's just sales at the tuningschool.com is the email. And you're gonna ask them to add you to the Dodge interest list. Now, what that's gonna get you is exclusive information on when the course is going to come out. It's gonna get you an exclusive presale and one person on the interest list is actually going to win the course for free. So it's really advantageous to be on that list. Now, as far as this video is concerned, if you wanna see more like it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. As always, stay tuned.